In this segment, we'll talk about e-file and tax prep, including the e-file log and the e-file archive, and some key points that is important to know when e-filing through tax prep in T1. In tax prep, you'll want to make sure that all your files are checked for e-file eligibility. Of course, one of the first things you'll do is you go into your prepare profile situation, go into your office situation, jump to the e-file section and make sure all these checkboxes and options are turned on to the appropriate desire. For example, selecting the returns. This will consider all the returns for e-file, not necessarily send them, but you'll want to have that turned on if, because you're transmitting all returns with mandatory e-file. So make sure that's all set up initially. Go back to the tax return. You want to go into Tools, Options and Settings in your Electronic Services section and make sure in your preferences which way you're going to e-file. Now for T1 purposes, of course you can transmit one by one with e-file online. You get the instant acknowledgement or you can use the Online Plus for batching of returns. Indicate are you going to the CRA or Revenue Quebec. And also if you are transmitting for Tax Prep Transmission Service you can select that as well. Make sure your identification is entered, other options in here, and you're set to go. In the Forms Manager, there are a number of e-file forms, like the e-file filing worksheet, which keeps track of the particular client you're working on and information related to the data that's being transferred in the e-file e-file info form which is very handy because it has solid information related to the transmission of that file and remember too if you wanted to use this information in a, a report you can drag and drop that field into a filter and add it to reports and the e-file summary form which is a summary of all e-file data fields in the client manager you can select from your e-file eligible filter to run a report on all those returns that are now e-file eligible and ready to go. If you are in the workflow management filter for your reports, you can have a number of columns with information coming from the return, like return status combined with e-file status, perhaps the 1013 status, and other things that you may want to add as a reference point. You can select via the drop-down box in here too to identify the returns based on the statuses. If you go to the e-file eligible filter and run an eligible and you find a number of returns that are all eligible, you can hold your shift key down, select a number of returns, right click, and go to transmit and receive. When the transmissions are completed, you can go down to your e-file tracking, click on e-file log. It will display all the returns that you have transmitted with a variety of information on here. This is created automatically for you. You can filter on date. You can filter on jurisdiction between federal and Quebec. You can also use this look for window up top, just like we did in the client manager and in the forms manager, to find a particular person that you have transmitted for. When you have many files in the e-file log and you know they're completed, you can transfer them, hold down your shift key or hit your control key if they're not together and right click and transfer them to the archive for record keeping purposes. You'll note you can also print the e-file log or update the statuses of the returns. Note that if you click on various files on here you'll see the exact precise information resulting from that transmission depending on which one you click on. So that's a little note on e-file in tax prep.